Now, it is no secret that I absolutely despise all things occult in The Sims. Vampires, aliens, mermaids, ghosts, wizard freaks. I don't want it, okay? I hate it. I've talked about it a million times. I just want to play my little families and build my little houses. I don't want to get abducted. I don't want to get bitten by a vampire. You know, I don't want it. I don't want this. Don't, don't come back from the dead and break into my house. Like, stop breaking my sinks. I don't want occults in The Sims. But this is purely personal preference, okay? I get it. You love witches, okay? That's fine. Live your dream. I'm not here to judge. It's just personally, I don't really like to play with them. And I never do. And so I thought, they just added wizards into The Sims 4. And so I got to thinking, you know, they just added wizards into The Sims 4. I don't really want to play with them. <laughs> Oops. But like, realistically, what is the worst occult in the game? Like we have this new one, we've got all the old ones, but what's the worst one? And so of course, today we will find out. This is purely subjective research on my part. <laughs> research is a strong word. I'm just gonna make some sims and decide who I hate the most. It's gonna be fun. Absolutely no bias whatsoever at all. I just think it'd be interesting as a person who hates these freaks to play with these freaks. Right? But now we must hop into Cass and create one of everything. This feels wrong. Tragic. <laughs> Absolutely tragic. Don't worry, I'll get a ghost too. I intend to murder this one and then we'll, we'll use her ghost. So I've made my four sims with the exception of my ghost. I have to kill someone still, but we'll get there in time. We have Ali N, my alien. <laughs> we have Valpire, my vampire. We've got Wizard, my wizard. And we have Merry Maid, my mermaid. And I intend to um, make these <laughs> these guys and gals battle to the death. But of course, we are missing one, Summer. That sounds like fun. You know, it sure would be unfortunate if a random lightning strike came and killed Bob Pancakes. Oh no. A random lightning strike came and killed Bob Pancakes. Whatever will we do? <laughs> oh, that's tragic. All right, well, that's more tragic. My game crashed. <laughs> this is what I get. We try again. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I did save before I killed my buddy Bob, so. I mean, I didn't kill my buddy Bob. He, di he died tragically with a random lightning strike. It sure would be unfortunate if a random lightning strike appeared out of nowhere and killed Bob. Oh no, a random lightning strike appeared out of nowhere and killed Bob. <laughs> And we're back. Okay. Can you all stop crying? You didn't even know him. Oh dear, I forgot about the sun. <laughs> I have a vampire in my household. Strike one for vampires. They need darkness. And where better to partake in this challenge than my favorite world from my favorite pack with my favorite freak sims in Strangerville. In possibly my favorite house. Yep, love it. <laughs> what a beautiful home. <laughs> all my favorite items from The Sims 4 all in one place. Ghost free freaks, alien freaks, wizard freaks, vampire freaks, mermaid freaks, and strangerville freaks. I need to get these freaks inside before someone dies because somebody, Miss Valpire over here, apparently can't handle the sunlight. But anyway, I'm gonna be honest, I think that I have played the most with ghosts out of all of these occult types. I refuse to play with aliens in The Sims. They're weird and annoying and they talk weird and they look like bugs and I just can't deal with it. Ever since other Sims games, I don't know why I said it like that, but I just, we can't deal with these green freaks because they're so irritating. Like her voice, the way she talks like a robot is so annoying. No offense, but full offense. And if we're gonna be realistic here about like ranking systems and my favorite occult and my least favorite occults, like objectively vampires and wizards are better than the rest of them because they have these whole UIs and cool systems behind them. And um, aliens, no. Mermaids, no. Ghosts, no. There's no systems for gaining anything, you know. There's no interesting spells you can learn. Like really, what can an alien do? What can a ghost do? Break your sink? Oh boy, like, <laughs> you know. But then again, ghosts don't just come into your house and bite you, but they will come into your house and break your sink, which is infuriating. I don't mean to be dramatic, but like I have this save where I have three gravestones on my lot and I didn't kill anybody. Just to clarify, I would never murder anyone. That's terrible. I'm not a sim murderer. <laughs> I've, I've never killed a sim before, ever. I would never do that. But <laughs> there's these three dead sims on my lot and they keep coming back in the middle of the night and breaking my things. They all like show up and they're like, oh, I'm gonna possess your fridge. Oops, it's broken now. And it's so irritating because I don't wanna release their spirits and get them away. And I wanna keep their gravestones in my front yard. And so there's no win. They just break my things, which is a bigger bother than like vampires are. Cause you know, Vlad will show up at your front. He's doing it right now. He's breaking my sink right now. Mm -hmm. 
I feel so much genuine rage for this ghost. I, <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> oh, it didn't break. Okay, that was a kind possession, not an evil one. But then again, vampires, you know, Vlad will come to your front door one time and he knocks on it and then he breaks in, tries to bite you and then it's over. But I most of the time just delete Vlad. He's not like a common interference in my everyday life. Like Mr. Bob Pancake's ghost of doom over, shh, my mom texted me. Like Mr. Bob Pancake's ghost of doom over here. He's trying to ruin my life. I think that mermaids are just generally disappointing. I'm gonna be honest. Like I had such high expectations and high hopes for them and this is like the animations are cool like look she's got her tail out in the bathtub but then again like why doesn't the mermaid system have a super cool tier system like vampires and aliens do I mean not aliens sorry <laughs> vampires and wizards and I get it like what would their tiers be like what kind of powers do mermaids have I don't know but then again all they do is like swim and like if you're not playing with them in Sulani like what are they gonna do sit in a bathtub all day oh boy like I don't it's just disappointing I think in general like I wasn't excited for mermaids nor was I impressed like when they added vampires and wizards like well I don't care and I don't want to play with them I'm like oh cool look at all the things you can do like oh, you can learn these spells you have a spell book like look at all the powers you have like wizards are actually kind of interesting and useful and fun and like I love magic like it's interesting vampires kind of cool system also like you you can gain these powers look at the UI they made like vampires are well done and then mermaids can swim right and then you know going back to aliens like what okay <laughs> Going back to aliens, what's she gonna do? You know, like, possess you? No. Is she gonna, like, bite you? No. She's just gonna exist and maybe impregnate you. Like, they, like, show up and abduct you sometimes, and then you get pregnant with, like, alien triplets, and all of a sudden you have alien triplets. Like, that's just not the move. A serious inconvenience and serious irritation, but, like, not as intrusive as many of these occult uh, types. I'm looking at you, Mr. Vampire Freaks. But um, moral of the story is, I don't think aliens are that annoying. Unless you come across them in public, in which case their little robot voices drive me crazy. But otherwise, like, they're fine. And when you think about the packs they came in, right? Like the wizard pack, the vampire pack, get to work, and island living. Well, we've got some things to say about those as well. If you guys didn't know, by the way, ghosts weren't in the original base game. They came out in an update uh, after the base game originally released. So, um, yikes there as well. <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest, I think that just going off of like build mode and the world alone is better than vampires. And I'm, oh, they're so closely tied. They're so closely tied about these things. But I think that Glimmerbrook is more useful for me than the freak vampire world. Like I'm never gonna go there. I might actually play in Glimmerbrook. So there's that. But I think that vampires has better gameplay and build objects. I'm gonna be honest. However much I have complained about vampires in the past, I think that vampires does win out on some things. The cast is a lot better in Realm of Magic though, like by far, hands down. But the more I think about this, and the more I think about how annoying I find these occult sims, I feel so annoying just talking about this. Like, oh my god, the ghost broke my sink. I hate him. But like, the ghost broke my sink and I hate him. I think that ghosts are the most irritating occult. I think that I hate ghosts the most out of all of the occult sims. It is very rare that I like want to play with a ghost and bring them back. I say as I have been playing with ghosts in my island living let's play. <laughs> But all that aside, it's rare that I find any interest in ghosts and I just get annoyed by them. They do more harm than good in The Sims. And like, I'm gonna be honest, next, vampires. Stupid creatures. They're green and they're mean and they're weird and they abduct me and I don't want them. But then we come to vampires. Number three, worst occult sims because they break into my house they bite my sims they show up at my door every time they make a new save it's infuriating i don't want them there vlad is scary that's a, d a dumb reason but basically you can't opt out of vampires and it really bothers me it's so invasive how they come to your front door and at least with wizards they don't come to your front door and are like hey become a wizard get into magic that was my impersonation of knocking. I don't think that came across very well. But they don't like shove up their wands in my face and try and force me to take up magic spells. Whereas vampires come to my front door constantly and try and lure me to the dark side. But then again, mermaids are boring. And that's why they have the number four spot. They aren't irritating to me. I don't feel bothered by them. And they only exist really within Sulani and I don't like go there often unless I want to play with mermaids anyway. So like they're off in their own little world. They don't try and force me to be a fish. You know, there's not any kind of invasion happening. They're off. I can play with them when I want them and it's fine. So they <laughs> are the second best occult sim. And I'm gonna be honest, wizards 
take the number one spot for best occult sim because again they're not mean to me <laughs> and I like wizards like I was the biggest fan of Harry Potter growing up I still hate vampires I can't believe they got the middle spot because the more I think about it the more I'm like god I want to punch Vlad in the face but also ghosts are so annoying like how <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like ragey just thinking about it and you know coming into this video I didn't know who I was gonna decide and how I was gonna rank these sims But the more I think about it the more I just uh, You know, I'm sorry. This is a dumb video. <laughs> it's so dumb But like look at me go I can be magic and do magic spells all she can do is float aliens are dumb I'm so powerful in my flippers <laughs> And also, I realize that most people do not share these occult sentiments. I said it before, but like, I agree that most people are like super pumped about wizards. And I feel you with that. Like, I respect your decisions. I just don't care. <laughs> All I want to do is build. I don't know. I just, I can see myself playing with wizards in like two streams, like six hours max, and then never touching it again. Same thing with vampires. I've literally played with two vampire sims ever in my entire life. Like, I mean, I've had random vampires like Valpire, but like, I'm not not gonna play with her for real I just made her once I've only ever like actually played with vampires twice like once when the pack came out and then once on stream like on Halloween a couple years ago and that's all I've ever done because I just don't feel any interest in playing with a vampire I probably should give them more chances because I mean it, they look interesting I mean I'm not dissing on the system I just vampires you know and honestly Vlad's off-putting I feel like I'm harboring this rage about it and I'm like I can't play with vampires they suck let me know in the comments how often do you actually play with these sims like when did you last play with a vampire an alien perhaps so who plays with aliens does anyone play with aliens when was the last time I don't remember the last time I saw an alien or even touched one like I don't and maybe it's just me because of my rage I don't know <laughs> but on that note I think I'm gonna cut off this video right here I hope that you guys enjoyed it I'm sorry it's dumb I'm dumb I know it's dumb, but what are your thoughts? It, it can't just be me, right? I know it's not just me. But on that note, please make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. I hit my arm on the desk. I deserve this for being mean. <laughs> I was being a brat today in the video, so I, I hurt myself. Karma. I don't know. Okay, bye. My arm kind of hurts from that. This is what I get. <laughs> I didn't deserve that. No, I did deserve that. Yeah, I deserved that.